here to a brand new video. This is episode two of our summer diaries, which I'm so, so excited about. And I mean, come on, what better episode to have for episode two than a good old Primark haul. Now, this actually isn't just any old Primark haul. This is a Primark accessory haul. So, sorry to disappoint if this is going to disappoint you, but today is just accessories because, oh my goodness, Primark are killing the accessories game this season. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like accessories are really, really important. They can take any outfit from sort of like a five to a ten just with the accessories. So if that has disappointed you slightly because you were wanting to see some, you know, some outfits, you know, some more inspo from Primark, then like I said, don't worry because tomorrow's episode, episode three, is actually going to be a summer Primark haul. Um, and I picked out a load of cute outfits that you could wear for like your summer holidays or just summer in general, all styled up with these accessories. So yes, definitely make sure you stay around for tomorrow's episode. But today I'm gonna run through the accessories. And like I said, in tomorrow's episode, you will see how all these are styled up and some summer outfits from Primark as well, obviously, head to toe Primark. Okay, so I feel like the first place I'm gonna start with is sunglasses. I feel like every year, who doesn't go to Primark and pick out some Primark sunglasses? They're cheap, they're affordable, they're cheerful. And I mean, if you're anything like me, I just misplace some glasses all the time I sit on them I break them it's just not worth my while buying expensive expensive sunglasses um so yeah I always take a trip to Primark every year and stock up I even buy two pairs of the same just because I am that bad and um, I feel like the Primark sunglasses have gone up slightly this year they have a range of one pound ones but they also have a range of three pound ones the three pound ones though are so worth it because they are beautiful I'm gonna start off with the three pound ones so they had loads of aviator style ones like this so this is the first pair. So it's actually got like a gold rim and then the sort of like grey silver lenses. They are so, so stunning. I just love these. They're quite big as well. I like it when the aviators are quite big on my face and not too tiny. They're just so amazing. They also have these in black. I do own them somewhere but I couldn't tell you where they are. Um, I also did get them in the pink though, because I know they're pink and they're a bit different, so not to everyone's taste, but I just feel like these can just look really like fashionista sometimes. Um, and I, I mean, I, I know that probably looks absolutely ridiculous, but I don't know. I've seen a few people wear like pink sunglasses, you know, just like the clear pink ones. And I really, really like how they looked on other people. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it myself. So I got some of those. And so the next ones you are not even ready for. If you obviously watch me on the regular, follow me on Instagram, you will know I'm obsessed with like the circle lens sunglasses. I wear them all the time, like in my Instagram pics, just everything. And cast your eyes on these ones. Oh my God, as soon as I saw these, do you know what? These are another pair that I should have got um, two in because if I lose these and I don't have any more in stock, I will be devastated, but yeah. How nice are those ones? I feel like these two styles in particular for me, like aviator and round ones, just ones that like suit my face. I feel like everyone's face is different and this is the thing with sunglasses. Everyone has a different sunglass shape for their face. Um, but yeah, these are definitely like my preference. And then the last pair of sunglasses I got were from the one pound section. Again, another pair of aviators, but oh my God, they're showing like a little purple. Are they purple? They look black, but I mean on camera they look like purple lenses, um, and they were only a pound. So I thought I'd get them. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to shoes. I really needed to stop up on sandals because I don't own any that I like at the moment. Um, and actually Primark had a few new different styles in since I last visited. So the first ones I picked up were just simply these ones. These are six pounds. They're just obviously plain, what they like, a brown tan color on the bottom. And then they just got like white, straw is it straw i never know what this is called but obviously if it focuses you can see exactly what i mean they had these in a ton of different colors i think they had them in like brown black maybe that was just it okay it wasn't a ton um but yeah i just thought they'd look really simple and nice so i got those Oh my God, the next ones I picked up, I feel like I'm gonna have to get these in a couple of different colors because I just really like these. So the real leather on the bottom, the eight pound, um, and they're just these gold ones. I feel like every year I love to get a pair of gold sandals just because I feel like they look really nice with like denim, just, just everything, they go with everything. And I just, 
I just love the gold sandals. I feel like they're a little bit more dressier, so you could have these in the evening if you wanted like a casual glam outfit. Um, so yeah, I really loved those. And like I said, with those ones, they really did have a ton of different colours for those. Next sandals I picked up were some black ones. Obviously, I needed like every single colour. But yeah, just very simple. I don't know what to call this string. Um, but yeah, I just sort of like the style of them. Just easy black slip-on ones. Um, and they were, again, £6, so so affordable. And then the last things I picked up were these, like, espadrilles. So I've been seeing these absolutely everywhere this season. I feel like they're, like, a new thing for this season. I swear people weren't really wearing these as much last year. But anyway, um, I've been really liking how they look. Obviously, for one, they look so bloody comfy because all it basically is is, like, a flat form. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, just a big flat form platform i can't even speak and then just simple black strap and then it ties around your ankle so i thought these would be like a really nice option for evening if you don't want to wear like stilettos or anything uncomfortable on your feet but you still want that extra bit of height if you're short like me five foot three and um, so yeah i just really really like these i thought i'd give them a go because like i said i've seen other girls style them up and they look beautiful and um, they were 14 pounds so not super cheap but they do feel really really good quality so yeah I really like those okay onto the bags i feel like primark's bag game has been massively up just lately there was a few that i couldn't get my hands on that i really wanted but that's primark for you if you see something you have to grab it at the time else it's gone honestly there was this beach bag there that was like black and white oh, i swear i've seen it on like an online shop like lately and it's like quadruple the price but anyway i'm not going to talk about that so, first bag I picked up was the box bag. I think I've spoken about this in one of my Primark hauls and I was a bit like, oh, do I get it, do I not? Because, guys, this was 20 quid. This was 20 pounds. It wasn't the cheapest thing for Primark. So yeah, I've been umming and ahhing about this for the longest time ever because I already have one like this, but in like a half moon style. But you know what? I figured I needed the sort of like rectangle shape too because i just love this so much so yeah like i said 20 pound not the cheapest but this will be the cutest little bag for on holiday just general summer yeah just give me all them summer vibes i love that okay next thing i picked up from primark was this cross body bag so it's very simple just a black is this called like is this called wicker I, I, that could be so wrong straw what is this called guys like i really am struggling to think of what this is called but anyway as you can see the texture of it is in that fabric and um, i feel like this fabric is typically summer isn't it like whenever i see this in bags i'm like summer vibes um so yeah it's just this with the gold clasp on the front it's got a cross body as well and i just thought this would be a really nice bag for like every day like day to day um and yeah it was only 10 pounds so i really liked that i do think they had this in like a light sort of beigey tan colour as well um, but I opted for the black and next up I thought this would be perfect for like the beach now I mean I'm not saying you're going to get your towel in there it's probably a little bit small for your towel so I'd probably just carry my towel um, but you could definitely get like all your lotions and like all your bits and bobs that you need for the beach in here anyway yeah, again just this circle black straw um, bag um, and it does have a crossbody strap as well. It just does up with like a simple little thing there. I don't know. I just thought this was really cute. I just really like this. I thought like with your bikini, with your, like your kimono on, um, heading to the beach. I just thought this would make quite a nice beach bag. Again, they did have different colours of these. I think they had like white. They definitely had like a straw tanny colour. You know, the typical sort of straw colour. Um, but again, I went with black because it's my fate. So yeah, I got that. And then, oh my goodness, I have saved the best bag for last. As soon as I saw this on the shelf, I was like, I need to get to the I need to purchase this. It is insane. Cast your eyes on this, guys. Oh my God, how amazing is this for Primark? So this is £8, which honestly, I did not think was bad at all. And it's basically just a black base with these gold little studded buttons all over it. I'm obsessed with this. How nice would this be for evening? So you could wear it as a clutch or you can also wear it as just like an over the shoulder, cross body bag. I love that it's got that gold chain as well. So it just gives you the options and it's really versatile. It also does have a zip on the top of the bag just to let you know as well. So it's really safe and secure. But oh my God, I love that. I think that would just be the perfect little bag for the evening on holiday. It will go with so many things. And honestly, how bloody expensive does that look? 
I feel like it looks so expensive, like so Zara. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, moving on to sort of like headwear now. Now, admittedly, I'm not always one for headwear, but again, it's one of them things, whenever I see it on other people, I'm like, oh my God, I just love how that looks. Um, so, I did see a couple of things that I liked. Number one was this black headband, just a simple sort of like satin headband. I mean, I know I look very ridiculous now, but... I feel like styled up that could look really cute like on the beach like I said with a bikini just I don't know it's just an extra something I feel like these extra somethings always just make your outfit look so much more stylish so yeah it was only two for so I thought I'd grab that and see how I could style up that I then also picked up this orange sort of like pleated headband oh my god how slim is this I think this definitely for like a black all black bikini or like white will look so stunning just finished off with this like orange headband yeah oh my god i can't wait to start this so this was three pound and i'm just absolutely in love with that so i got that i also picked up a hat now i feel like i like to think i like hats but i'm one of these people that as soon as i take the hat away i never freaking wear it like i'm like oh my god i look ridiculous i look stupid i just can't pull a hat off i also think that hats look so much better in pictures like in real life i feel like an absolute idiot rocking these big hats but then when i see them on pictures i'm like oh Oh my god that looks so good makes the outfit go from like an eight to a ten so anyway i saw this white one i don't know how i feel about the floppiness of like the rim i feel like i don't know i just thought this was the best out of the bunch in that for the hat section in primark it was how much was this four pounds so it was an absolute bargain um, and in tomorrow's video you'll see this style up with a bikini so we can put it to the test then whether it looks good or it looks rubbish but i thought i'd pick it up anyway and see how this would look because like i said whenever i see pictures with a hat on the beach i'm like oh my god i need that so yeah picked up that okay so we're moving on to the last couple of things that i picked up and that was accessories the first thing i picked up were these four necklaces so they're all individual so you don't have to wear them all in one go. I just really liked this selection. I just thought you've got something for everything. So you've got one for like more day to day. And then I feel like, let me just come in closer. You've got like a dead thin one here. And like that one would look stunning on an evening. Even that. I probably would wear that on just day to day. Maybe not evening. Oh my god, I don't know. You could just rock them all for evening to be honest with you. But yeah, for only £3, I just thought there was an absolute bargain. Like when you go on ASOS, Topshop, these things are like £10-£12. Um, so you just can't go wrong and yeah sometimes these are just a difference between a plain outfit and a dressy outfit so i had to grab them okay next thing i picked up was just some oh my god why do i always do this guys i always just seem to think in my head that rings are just one size and i never look at the size i did this with the belt in my last prime at all these are large actually they don't seem large bloody hell have i got actual large hands okay wait that one is too big anyway picked up these i'm gonna have to retire these and get a smaller size again these are three pound these are just these gold dainty rings let me come in and focus them as you can see they're just simple gold dainty little rings they're then ones that you can like stack on top of each other i just again think these are really nice and cute dainty add something different to an outfit look i don't wear loads of these because i don't want like bling bling on my hand but i just feel like the odd little dainty ring just looks really sophisticated classy and i don't know i just like that look so yeah i thought i'd pick a pack of these up and like i said again for three pound cannot go wrong i also picked up a bangle because you know when you have those really stunning sophisticated sexy dresses and you don't want to go too overboard with accessories but you just feel like you need that something something a little gold bangle like this honestly it can just be that missing piece so yeah i thought i'd get this can't actually put it on um <laughs> it was only two pound and yeah, I just really liked that. I thought it looked a lot more expensive than £2 and was just really simple and cute. So I got that too. Okay, moving on to the last thing. Where the hell is that gone? Okay, so moving on to the last thing, I picked up these gorgeous pearl hair sliders. I mean, bloody hell, I'm just chucking it everywhere. If you don't know, hair sliders have just been absolutely everywhere at the moment. I've not been wearing them at all, but I've been seeing loads of girls rock these gorgeous little, you know, hair slides, clips in the hair. I've just been loving the look, to be honest with you, but I've just not tested it out for myself. I just thought, you know, if you are into that sort of thing, these ones are just absolutely stunning from Primark. For only £2, they just look, again, so high-end, so expensive. I feel like I might try them out for myself. And again, they're just them things that when you add to your hair, it just takes your hair up a notch, you know? I've been really loving seeing these in girls, especially with short hair. They do like one side back. 
yeah so pretty so yeah i thought i'd pick those up too and yeah that brings us to the end of this primark accessories haul i really really hope you've enjoyed it and got some inspiration and maybe saw some things that you really like and want to get for yourself like i said there will be a primark part two tomorrow where i'm going to be showing you full head to toe outfits from primark with these accessories styled up so if you are looking at these and not too sure what you do with them right now then make sure you stay tuned for part two tomorrow where i will show you how you style these and also full head to toe primer outfits which i'm so excited to show you because i picked up some beautiful things i feel like sometimes shopping in store is so much easier than shopping online like i do the majority of my hauls online and when i get them sometimes i just feel a little bit disappointed because it's not what i thought it would be whereas when you're in store you can actually see things so it's a lot easier to style the outfits, if that makes sense. Anyway, rambling. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, stay tuned for Primark Part 2 tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button. Bye!